I'm Soledad O'Brien. Welcome to Matter of Fact. A record number of women are running for Congress in this year's midterm elections, 309 for the House and 29 for the Senate, and those numbers are expected to go up. The majority of them are Democrats, according to the Center for American Women in Politics. Since 2016, there has been a 146% increase in the number of Democratic women who are running for the House, a 35% increase on the Republican side. Both parties have grassroots organizations to support female candidates. Maggie's List works to recruit female conservatives to run for office, while Emerge America is one organization teaching female Democrats how to manage successful campaigns. We're going to speak with the executive director of Maggie's List in just a moment. But first, we sent our correspondent, Jessica Gomez, to Arizona, where Emerge America is hoping to close the political gender gap for the Democrats. On a Saturday morning in central Phoenix, a surge of women ready to step up. You need to be asking for people's vote. They're part of Emerge Arizona's class number six. For nearly six months, this diverse group of women, Democrats, from 24 to 73 years old, have spent their weekends learning politics 101. Most people are voting by mail. Emerge Arizona and 23 other chapters around the country are busy. You can add as many activist codes as you want. Teaching women how to build a campaign team, fundraise, understand voter data. Lindsay and Patrice, how about you guys do Cambridge? Right. And get out the vote. They have little, if any, political experience. Why? Thank you so much. Right. But most have already filed to run for office. I'm running for Justice of the Peace in Canto District. Town Council. Arizona State Senate. Chandler School Board. I have been envisioning the growth and the opportunities of the city since I was five years old. 28-year-old Alexis Hermosillo is running for mayor of El Mirage, a city northwest of Phoenix. Have you had tamales de frijol? Her family, who has been in El Mirage for some 70 years, are Latino, like most here. But Hermosillo says there are too few Latinos and women representing them. For me, it's important for people to see people that look like them people that sound like them, people who come from the same backgrounds that they come from. Okay, perfect. Hermosillo, so who has a master's in journalism, says plans to become a nonprofit executive changed after the 2016 presidential election. As a woman, being Latina, just thinking about the future, what that meant not only for me, but my family, it left me devastated. It left me wanting to create change. I'm excited that you'll join me. Hazel Chandler, the oldest member of this Emerge class, felt the same way. It's heartbreaking and I could sit here and be depressed or I could get out and do something. A grandmother of six, Chandler says she spent her life fighting for women to have equal footing. And with a passion for the environment, she says retirement will have to wait. We have to change it or our children don't have a future. You got to look at who's running and how many people are running. Nadia Rivero and daughter Sakina Pasha, both Muslim, also worry about the future. We're going to call that the parent. They run a nonprofit for Muslim kids, many who are refugees. There's a whole generation of kids that have now grown up constantly hearing how Muslims are bad and, and they're terrorists. And I just can't even imagine what that's like for them. Neither has political experience. Though daughter Sakina did dream of running for president in fifth grade. Then 9-11 happened. Part of what drove me to get to the point I am today and like wanting to run is figuring out that we don't need to hide out anymore and we really need to stand up for ourselves um, as a community. Like others here, they say the class has given them the confidence to do it. Women run for PTA and they fundraise for their PTAs. And Emerge Arizona teaches these women, if you could fundraise for the PTA, you can fundraise for yourself. Closing the gender gap in politics has been an uphill battle. But here in Arizona, the numbers are better than most. Women make up 40% of the state legislature and voters here have elected more female governors than anywhere else. <laughs> and Emerge women among those who are winning here. ER physician and Emerge alum Hiral Tipernini, who skipped local and state races and went right for U.S. Congress, recently winning her primary. I think it uh, behooves every woman to realize that, hey, be empowered. Remember how important your voice is because we need you. We need those voices. 
Voices, they say, that are changing the face of political leadership. Rocket ladies! This whole wave is awoken a sleeping giant, yeah. and I don't think we go back from this. In Phoenix, Arizona, for matter of fact, I'm Jessica Gomez. Last year, voters elected 152 Emerge America graduates nationwide. When we come back, the number of Republican women in political leadership is on the decline. We'll talk about what the GOP needs to do to get them back.